G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Handcrafted by Terry G. G'day guys, welcome if you're new, and if you're regular, great to have it back again. Hey, ho, 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 yes, we're in that festy season for Christmas. How good is Christmas is coming? So we've got all the, the decorations all up and behind us, and we've got them all over the table. Hey, ready for this wonderful episode today. So I've had a lot of requests. Uh, to make some fantastic rumbles. That's right, Steve Fuller from Sore Adventures. This one's coming to you, mate. So, okay, so on the table here, we've got a few ingredients and that. We've got our uh, wheat bix, we've got some mixed fruit, we've got some cocoa, we've got some um, condensed milk, and yes, I'm a cheap drunk. Check the, check the, the rum out, it's Buckeyes Rum. Yeah, so Buck, if you're watching, mate, um, I think they named this one after you, mate. And um, they, we've just got some um, designated coconut, blended up some of these wheat bix in a mixer. So we empty our wheat bix straight into our bowl. Okay, guys, we've just added our 10 wheat bix straight into our mixing bowl like so, just all, all crumbled up. So now we'll add our two tablespoons of um, coconut. If I can get into the packet, it's quite childproof. So just two tablespoons of that. Doesn't have to be perfect. From our two tablespoons of that, we're going to mix three quarters of a cup now of mixed fruit. And I just get the Sunbeam brand from Coles or Woolies or something like that. So I'll tip in three quarters of a cup of mixed fruit. How's that? It's always good to add a little bit more extra fruit. So we'll tip in our three quarters of a cup of mixed fruit. And if you want to soak it, guys, in, in rum or whatever you like to put into it, um, you're quite welcome to do that. But for us, we like just to dump it all together. And the next step is, is we're going to add in our cocoa powder uh, into our mixture. So it's just one tablespoon of cocoa powder. So I like to sift it, guys, just in case there's any lumps or something like that in it as well. Near enough is good enough. Look at that, guys. Stick that in your sieve and just give it a good tap. See how there's a few lumps there? Get it in there with your spoon. Look at that. Nice and clean. Right. Our next step is we're going to put our wet ingredients in now and we're going to add one tablespoon of rum of our Buckeye rum or to whatever rum you'd like to to put into it so we'll add one tablespoon of rum straight into our mixture I just get the Nestle of condensed milk And just add that in like so. This is very sticky stuff, guys. So you might want to get a spoon and spoon it out. Try not to eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. Even though it's very yummy. I remember as a kid years ago. We used to get it in the tubes and just suck on the tubes 
of condensed milk it's and it was quite nice and yeah you can still actually get the tubes today and and still do that rightio that's all in there now we're just gonna mix all our ingredients all in together so i'm just got a, a spatula i'm just going to use the end of the spatula to mix it in you got to really work it in guys Yeah, so all of our ingredients are all combined together now. And it's absolutely smelling divine. You can make this, guys, when you're out camping, you know, or anything like that. Or even better, to take camping. Right. So the next step is, is we're just going to cover it with a bit of cling wrap now. So I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator for roughly around about half an hour just so all the ingredients and that can combine together uh, a lot properly especially with all that rum and all of that you want that soaking through the fruit. So we'll come back in half an hour and we'll roll it up into little balls. Righty hey guys we're back. Uh, just got our mixture straight out of the fridge so we'll take our cling wrap off and we'll start rolling it up shall we into little balls. So we'll take it out of our cling wrap, there's our mixture there. So what I've got here guys is I've just got uh, some designated coconut in one dish there and I've just got a container in there like so and I'm just going to line our empty container with a bit of paper toweling just in the bottom so that way it doesn't stick to our, our container like so. All you do virtually is grab a teaspoon, grab roughly about a teaspoon size, and I just want you to give it a good squish in your hand like so, until you get shaped as a ball. See that? That's a good size rum ball. Throw it in our coconut, and then all you got to do is just give it a swish around like so, just to get that coconut onto your rum balls. And there you have it guys, one beautiful looking rum ball. So let's put that in our container. And we'll start on the next one. Like so, give it a good squish. That way it combines our ingredients all together. Drop it in. Another one. And we'll just give that a good circle around like so. Coat them with all our coconut. And then drop them straight in. How well do they look, guys? What do you reckon, Robin? Pretty good. Well done. Righty, yeah, guys. We'll, we'll get all these rolled up and we'll come back soon. Did you give up on the teaspoon measure? I did, yes. I gave up on the teaspoon measure. They were just a little bit too small, so... There's the first ones he did. These ones are better. There you go. Very sticky. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing it.
I know it's very sticky. My hands are covered. You have to lick them clean, won't you? Yeah, can't waste good good alcohol on it, can't I? I think these are getting a bit bigger and bigger and bigger as the way you go. <laughs> you got enough for three there. You're getting sick of it. Rightio. What are you going to do with your hands? Mmm. That's good. That's the best part now. Yeah. Just like licking the beater. Yep. We've just finished rolling. I know the, there's a couple there that look quite huge compared to the, the first ones that I started off with. But, um, yeah, it tastes um, really, really good anyway. Always good to have a big size of a rum ball to nibble on. So we're going to stick these in the refrigerator now for roughly around about two hours. And that way it'll all set and combine together and we'll come back for a taste test. Cheers, guys. Well, guys, we're back, and how great do these rum balls actually look? How fantastic, hey? So they've been chilling away in the fridge for quite some time now, and we've only just remembered and thought, hmm, we made rum balls today. So I must um, finish this video off for you, and we'll try one, shall we? So it was quite funny. I started off with this little tiny thing about yay big, and then it progressed up to this massive ball, so... Yeah, nothing like having a massive rum ball, I reckon. So, yeah, let's try one, shall we, guys? So, we've picked a nice one here, so let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Can certainly taste the rum in it. Let me see inside. Mmm, absolutely divine, guys. I'll stick the recipe down in below in the description for you. Rightio, Molly's come to say hello, all you puppy dogs out there. Good to see you all. And, um, yeah, if you like this video, leave me a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe. And remember, guys, have a safe one. We'll see you on the next one. And remember... Make it yourself. Cheers, guys.